Good morning, friends. I missed you. I hope you had a nice break with your family. It's time for circle. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning to you. Good morning. Good morning. And how do you do, my friends? There are seven days. There are seven days. There are seven days in a week. There are seven days. There are seven days. There are seven days in a week. Sunday, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday. Sunday, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday. Let's do the date. Today's not Sunday, Monday, but today is Tuesday. Let's do our weather and our date. So today is Tuesday, April 14th, 2020. We are still in the season of spring and today it's not sunny, but it's partly cloudy outside today. So we're gonna put it on cloudy. All right. So today we are going to talk about land and water forms. We learned about a land and water form before we left school and the land and water form that we learned about was the lake and the island. So we know that a lake is a body of water surrounded by land and we know that the island is land surrounded by water. Today, we are going to talk about cape. And a cape is a point of land projecting into a body of water. See, it's surrounded on three sides. And the bay is water surrounded by land on three sides. Okay, friends, so I have a fun activity that we're going to do. You are going to help me decide where our objects go, if they go in the cape or in the bay. So I have a shark, a man, a boat, and a walrus. Our first object is the shark. Do we think he's gonna go in the cape or the bay? Mm the bay. You would find a shark in the water. All right, next is our man. Uh, the cape, that's right. The man would be on land. I wouldn't want to be in the water with a shark. All right, next is our boat. You would find the boat in the bay. And last, we have our walrus. Where would we find our walrus? It's a tricky one. You would probably find him on the cape, laying in the sun, and then he might go in the water to get some fish for dinner. All right, nice job, friends. Next, we are going to make Okay, so for our next activity, we are going to make a cape at a bay with blue and brown Play-Doh. So Oliver's gonna help me. So Oliver, can you make the cape for us first? So we need what color for the land? We need the brown for the land. And then our water is going to surround it on three sides. Is our cape. All right, now we're going to make our bay. He's really fast, guys. All right, so the bay, we'll start with the water, our blue Play Doh. And then we'll surround it on three 
coincides with our brown Play-Doh, that is land. Wow, very nice. Thank you so much, Oliver. So we made a cape and a bay with Play-Doh. You could do this at home, and then you can also color one if you don't have any Play-Doh, just with um, blue and brown marker. And if you do this activity, please share it on Seesaw so me and Ms. Katagio can see it. And I will see you guys next time. Bye.